All right, so I know a lot of people that watch this channel are either thinking about driving for something like Uber or Instacart, or maybe you've already even done it before. But did you know that there are way more options out there other than Uber or Lyft or Instacart? And some of them pay a lot better. Well, that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. We are gonna be going over 13 easy delivery driver side hustles. And in a lot of these, you can use your own car. And in some cases, they may actually have a car that you can use as well. So yeah, let's get into this one right after you gently cheers the like button. All right, so number one is going to be delivering lost luggage from airports. So 25% of travelers report that airlines have actually lost their luggage in the last five years. So this basically happens all the time and someone's got to deliver the luggage from the airport to wherever the person is staying. And that's where this job comes in. So there was an article I found of someone, he was actually a teacher, Travis, who works a little bit of extra time. He worked an extra four hours and he made over $800. And you can expect to make about eight to $100 plus per gig. Now you will get paid by the airport itself, of course, but sometimes people will actually tip you as well. So the way you wanna get into this is first of all, understand the industry, especially in your local market, right? Look up on Google, lost luggage delivery service in your area see who's doing it, and see which companies are offering this lost luggage delivery service to the airlines. And if you take this far enough, in some cases, you may be able to start your own lost luggage delivery service. So yeah, this is a really good one. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Lots and lots of videos of people doing this on YouTube. You can check them out. And speaking of YouTube, I actually teach people how to start successful YouTube channels, and I am taking on about three to four coaching clients. And you can apply to be one of my clients, and I'll put that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now keep in mind, this isn't just like a, course or anything like that. This is actually a pretty intensive coaching program. So I only take on people who are very serious about getting success on YouTube. Now the next category on the list is going to be delivering food. And we're going to go over five different options that you have for food delivery. And the first option is probably going to surprise you. And that is a pizza delivery driver. Now you're probably thinking they don't make any money, right? Pizza delivery drivers, they're probably teenagers. They're not making any money. And for a lot of companies, they aren't. But if you find the right company, you can actually make really good money. We're talking about $35 an hour. And an example of that would be a Domino's delivery driver. So anyone from the US probably knows exactly what Domino's is. You've probably had it a few times at least. And yeah, they make pretty good pizza. Now, the cool thing is you have the option to use your own car or you can use a company car with Domino's. And reports online show that they make about $14.50 per hour plus tips. And on a good day with tips, they were making about $35 an hour. But Glassdoor shows the base pay as about about 16 to 25 dollars an hour but that is going to vary greatly depending on what area you live in typically affluent neighborhoods are going to be giving you bigger tips so overall i'll give them about a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score next one on the list i'm just going to go over very quickly because i think everyone knows about it and that is uber eats and believe it or not if you work a lot and you get some good tips you can make around eight thousand dollars a month doing uber eats like this guy did right he made eight thousand dollars a month and he documented it on TikTok. But generally speaking, Uber Eats drivers make about $15 to $21 an hour. So I think everyone knows about this one. It's pretty solid. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is a sweet green lunchtime delivery driver. And this is basically a place that delivers healthy products like salads. Then you'd actually be operating out of the SG Logistics platform. And they pay a minimum of $23 an hour. And typically their lunchtime delivery drivers make more like $25 to $35 an hour. And that doesn't even count the tips. Now, the downside to this one is lunchtime is between 10.30 to 1.30 p.m. So it's really only three hours of the day. And it's only Monday to Friday. So that's only about 15 hours a week of work. But what you could do is do one of these other delivery apps. And then during lunchtime, you switch to this one. So yeah, this one is great. The only problem is the limited availability of time slots. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is another very well-known one. And that is a Grubhub delivery driver. Now, I think everyone knows about this one, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but Grubhub delivery drivers, according to Indeed, make about $51,000 a year. So they do make a full-time income if they do it full-time, and you don't have to have a boss that's breathing down your neck. You basically just get to work autonomously. So there are a lot of positives to this one. So I'll give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Another really well-known one in this category is going to be a DoorDash delivery driver, and they tend to make about 18 to 20 
$57 an hour. And there's some people that claim that they make up to $30 an hour after tips. So yeah, this is another pretty solid option. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the downside to these types of careers is you're not really ever going to be able to get a promotion and do something that pays higher. A different career where you can get promotions and make it up to six figures a year, even multi six figures a year is IT. Information technology has tons of opportunity and a really easy entry level job to get into is IT help desk. I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have actually been able to get into this and they all use the company Course Careers. And Course Careers does have a free training for IT help desk, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. So you can see if it's right for you and you can just see what it's all about. All right, so the next category is going to be delivering packages. And I'm gonna talk about five different options in this category and several of them you've probably never heard of before. All right, so let's get the obvious one out of the way. Amazon delivery driver. They pay about 18 to $25 an hour. So this one's more solid in that you're almost definitely gonna make that range of 18 to 25, but you're probably also not going to get the tips that you would with food delivery. So there's definitely some positives and negatives to this one. Most of the ones on this list do have pretty flexible schedules. So this one is no exception to that. But yeah, I'll give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of someone else who could get some value from the video as well and might enjoy it, go ahead and share it with them. You never know one of your friends or family members or just someone who needs to get a job might see this and it might help them get a job. The next one on the list is going to be another pretty common one, which is a Postmates delivery driver. And Postmates delivers goods and also food to people and they pay about 19 to 32 dollars an hour now postmates is kind of known for being a little bit more driver focused so they're kind of better to their drivers they offer them better bonuses etc so for that reason i'll give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score next one is going to be a ups seasonal support driver now this is a seasonal one so they're only going to bring you on at certain times of the years that are extra busy so like the holiday seasons for instance they would bring a lot of people on and there's a stat that 80% of seasonal jobs at UPS don't require an in-person interview. And most job seekers will have a job offer within 20 minutes. And they pay about $18 to $33 an hour. Now the pay is comparable to a lot of the other ones, but the thing that makes this one better is you can join at a seasonal time, but if you do a good job, you might get a full-time offer. And if you get a full-time offer, there are lots of opportunities to get promotions and pay bumps. So that's what makes this one a little more attractive than a lot of the other ones on the list. So for instance, there's this story of Samantha Lopez that joined UPS as a driver during the peak season. And now she's 17 years into her UPS career and she's progressed through 10 different positions. So there are many opportunities to make a ton of money at UPS. There's lots of different six figure job opportunities. And that's why I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is gonna be a skedaddle delivery driver. So Skedaddle is a company that delivers packages all over the US and they pay an hourly rate of $18 an hour, but they also do have some bonuses. For instance, they pay you 30 cents per stop that you make. And there are also opportunities for actual promotions at this company. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be Drop Off. And this is a company that does same day package delivery. Now, an interesting thing about this company is they actually have really good ratings on Glassdoor. So 4.1 at a five-star rating and 90% of people approve of the CEO. So that's actually pretty rare to see when it comes to delivery companies. And couriers at drop-off make about 35 to $52,000 a year. Now you do have to be 21 years or older to do this one. And you have to have some kind of vehicle that's less than 10 years old. So they do have some stipulations with this one, but yeah, there's a lot to like as well. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next category is going to be delivering medical supplies. And I'm actually gonna put two different companies that I really like in this category. The first one is Lab Logistics. So they service all 50 states. And if you work as a medical courier for them, you're gonna make 48 to $74,000 a year. This is literally a job that you can just just get all you need is a car. That's basically it. And you can make 48 to $74,000 a year. Now, because of the fact that you are delivering medical supplies, they are going to run a background check on you. They kind of have to go through a bit of a process like that because you are going to be delivering kind of like sensitive documents. And in some cases you might be delivering medical supplies that need to be refrigerated and that kind of thing. So they basically just have to make sure you're not sketchy. So you do have to actually go through an application process, but it seems to be pretty chill. And this company pays extremely well. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. So if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next videos that I'm going to drop. I'm super excited about these next ones that are coming out. So definitely hit that subscribe button. 
Next on the list is going to be reliable couriers. And they do different types of medical supply delivery, but one of the things they do is what's known as stat delivery. And stat basically means ASAP, right? It means do it right now. So deliveries that have to happen immediately, right? So maybe a hospital is running out of a certain medication or medical supply and they need it delivered super quickly. So obviously, if you're gonna need it super quick, that means you're gonna have to pay a premium for it. And that's where this company comes in and that's where you as a medical courier come in. Now, this position is going to be easier to get into than the one before, but it also pays a little less. So they pay about thirty to $45,000 a year. But it's an easy way for you to get your foot in the door as a medical courier. And then down the line, you can go ahead and pick up better jobs. So overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. The next category is going to be delivering liquor. Yes, this is actually something you can do. Really? Really, really. And there's only one on this list and that's going to be Drizzly. Now this company is currently only available in about 31 states and I'm guessing that's because of legal reasons and it's available in over 1500 cities in North America. So you have to check to see if it's available in your area. And according to information online, you make about 13 to $18 an hour plus tips. So yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, it's one where you might be able to pick up some jobs kind of later on in the day if Uber Eats or one of the other apps isn't working or you aren't getting any jobs from them. But yeah, it does pay on the lower side. It's also a little bit sketchy. You know, you might be delivering it to a house full of drunk people. You may or may not get tips here. So I'll give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you haven't seen it already, I did make a video that went semi-viral on 10 side hustles you can do to earn easy money. And you can check that out by clicking right here.